Hey everyone, it's Angel again. Welcome back to my little world here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, <laughs> it's morning and I just, I like, I just, I literally just got out of bed, made coffee, came in here and realized that I left the cap off my glue all night. You know, luckily it still feels like, um, you know, it didn't dry up. <laughs> so been having one problem after another you know art wise lately um mostly like technical things um i actually filmed a video yesterday working in uh one of my junk journals and um i don't know i'm having trouble with my editor i may have to like get a new like a new camera well i want a new camera because this is a gopro but i may have to like do it sooner than later because I'm having so much trouble um, in my editing. I, you know, I don't know. And this video may even be a dud too. But anyway, I got my coffee and, you know, coffee makes everything okay. Um, and I thought I would film um, this little, little junk journal that I've been working on or that I started working on last night. And because um, here's another problem that I'm having. So I had planned to get book cloth um, to put on this instead of this, you know, pretty lace. Um, but then I was like, you know, I went to go order it and I was like, do I really feel like waiting? I want to work on this now. And um, so then I decided not to get it. Um, and um, I thought that I would just go ahead and glue this piece of uh, lace onto it and I mean as you can see I used Mod Podge and it activated the paint on this really old book this old adorable book um, I wasn't going to do anything to it but I noticed a few tears and you know like worn down areas in the spine which you know to me is the most important you know part of the book because it holds everything together so basically this like small piece of uh, whatever this is paper that's in here in the spine was kind of holding everything together because this uh, the spine like I said it just had it was just so worn and it was only a matter of time before it was going to tear all together so I thought if I you know put some glue down put a piece of lace there the glue is going to kind of act you know as like a strengthener but <laughs> as you can see, it turned like it turned red. And um, I'm kind of, I mean, I, I don't mind it, but I really wanted to, I really wanted the lace to show up. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. And then I put this uh, piece of fabric tape here. And, you know, because last night before it dried, it, it was pink, it wasn't red. <laughs> So I thought, oh, maybe it's just going to turn pink. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but now I feel like it doesn't go. I don't know, but I feel like I'm just going to go with it. So I think what I'm going to do, so I didn't take everything out. I took, like, this was uh, the paper that was in there. And if it had been good paper, I would have left it in there and used it because it has like you know because this is a children's book and so it has like this big you know font which i love and it has these i'm looking for a, an image in here it has these pretty little images of this little girl that this book is about and whose name is honey bunch um if you're familiar oh, here it is if you're familiar with these books let me know it's copyright when is the copyright 1924 which makes me feel a little bit bad about having gutted it but i'm sorry this is adorable i had to make this into a junk journal i absolutely had to and i did it in a way that i could keep this um the inside like the inside um images so um i think what i'm going to do is kind of make like I want to make it so that I can because I do want this lace to kind of fold inwards so um yeah let me just jump into it 
I think it's good to, you know, share the problems that I'm having because hopefully if there's somebody watching, um, you know, I've said before, I don't get a whole lot of viewership, but the viewers that I do have, you guys are awesome because you leave me such encouraging comments and you're so nice and, um, you know, give me ideas and, um, and um and i'm and i'm so thankful for that especially the the most recent videos that i've done my watercolor journals um you guys were so nice to me about it and i so appreciate how nice your comments all the nice comments that were left to me because i was you know like i said i was a little bit shy about it so um so i thank you for that so i'm i feel like i should use mod podge since um, that's what I used initially, but I'm like, I'm so upset about what, you know, what happened. I mean, I'm not that upset. I'm just like, I don't know. It's like, I thought I liked it. I mean, I guess I kind of do. It's kind of cool looking. I just wish that it hadn't turned so red that all of this, you know, pretty lace you know, doesn't show up anymore. I could go over it with some white, maybe. I may. Should I just to see? Let's just see, y'all. I mean, this may be like, this may be like a really bad idea. So this is uh, buttermilk, which I feel like is kind of close to the color of the lace. I'm, I just, I don't know. I just don't like how like the lace truly just disappeared you know i wanted to be able to see it i actually don't mind like i like that it kind of activated the color because that kind of i don't know it kind of made it kind of interesting but let's see if i can oh well well look at that y'all look at that so so i just did like a little test so let's, I don't know, let's maybe put this in kind of different areas. Really what I should be doing right now is taking this whole book outside and putting, um, like spraying it with acrylic fixative. But okay, so this is making me happy a little bit. This is like, okay, yeah, this is working out a little bit, but I don't, I feel like these little flowers kind of disappear, but I don't know. I just didn't like how like the whole thing just turned red, you know? You know what would really be cool is maybe adding a little bit of my gold paint. That's in the kitchen because I was dyeing paper in there. I don't know, should I go get it? Should I go get my gold paint, y'all? I'm liking what this is doing. I feel, this makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> You know? <laughs> Sometimes, like, you need to make a mistake to figure out really what you... I'm going to put this a little bit on the front here, too. You know, to figure out what you like, you know, and what you, you can do next time. But, okay, this is better. This makes me happy, you guys. You may even be, like, watching this and thinking, like, good Lord, why did you do that? It looked fine the way it was, but it just... I just feel like, so now it looks kind of like there's some lace there, sort of, right? But yeah, I really should take this outside. I probably will. I'm going to work on this a little bit and um, figure out what papers I'm going to put in here. But then I'm going to, um, I'm going to take this outside later on and, um, spray it with acrylic fixative before I, you know, before I do anything because 
this, I mean, this is kind of the first like junk journal that I'm making for myself out of like a little book, like a little antique book like this. And I feel like, let's chat for a second, you guys. <laughs> let's just chat. Um, I feel like, you know, with my silly book, this is my silly book. And, um, you know, if you're new to my channel, this is just, I call it my silly book. There's nothing serious in here. I do have some pieces that I'm proud of, but mostly it's just for me to like just glue things in here, not care about whether I like it or not, not care about whether or not I'm making, you know, something beautiful. It's kind of like, you know, like my therapy book. We all have it. Um, but <laughs> I've got so many like beautiful ephemera now that I've been, you know, shopping a lot and going to these beautiful estate sales and stuff like that. And I almost feel like, you know, because my silly book is my silly book, you know, it almost like I'm so hesitant to put, you know, like my pretty things in there. So like, I just felt like if I made a pretty junk journal, which this is basically like what it is, because I don't have themes, you know, to my journals. I, they just, they are what they are. Um, but I just felt like if I made something pretty and it was kind of dedicated to being pretty, then I would feel so good about putting my expensive ephemera and all of my pretty, you know, ephemera that I don't want to put in my silly book in you know in in a pretty junk journal so that's what that's why i made this and that's what that's the, the first thing i thought of when i saw how pretty this little book is and i mean it's so it's just so cute <laughs> so anyway so that's why i like because normally i don't care you know how things turn out i they just turn out how they turn out and you know i either like it or i don't but i just go with it but for some reason, I put a lot of pressure on myself to make this nice. So I really want this to be nice, you know? And I'm still, like, I'm still really new at all of this. So, so I'm going to try something. Since I used Mod Podge um, to glue this down, I'm going to see if the, my, the, the tacky glue will do the same thing and kind of activate it just to see like for next time if like I want to do something like this you know if I can use this instead because <laughs> I don't have like those are mainly my two glues I suppose I could use I could get some um some gel medium because I do want to use gel medium um I, I want to start using it in my acrylic paintings or my not paintings my you know when I start working with acrylic a little bit more and um because I have I have worked with acrylic in the past not for a long time but I I know that I do like using medium so um and it it does it still kind of activates it it's still yeah I mean, I just think that it's just this book is really old, you know. This is not, this isn't leather. This is like a, it looks like a canvas kind of fabric and the paint's coming off, which is, you know, makes it even more charming. But, okay, so, hold on. Stop talking for a second. <laughs> Let me stop talking for a second and just do this. <laughs> it's because I'm getting excited, you guys. Like, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Last night, I was so frustrated because I was just like, I can't believe what's happening, you know? And then I was like, I'll just go with it, but it's, you know, and it's going to be okay. And then I woke up and came in here to just to check how, how everything dried. And I just was like, oh my gosh, you know? Because I'm still new, you know, I'm still new to the whole junk journal art form. And um, I want this to kind of lay like that, yeah. So I'm still new to all of this. And 
so I'm still learning and so I you know for that I do give myself a learning curve and some leeway and um, but for some reason this particular junk journal I just I wanted it to be beautiful you know because I do want to use all of my pretty ephemera you know I got I got so many cute cute little things and there we go wait oh well let's do this I mean I have so many pretty things and so many old things and so if the, you know I figured if I'm using like something that's already old and antiqued and and you know beautifully old <laughs> keep saying the word old um that I would be less, you know, less inclined to tell myself like, no, like, I want to save that for something, you know, nice. So this is the nice thing that I, I was saving everything for. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope I can, um, I hope I can resolve my, my camera and editing issues. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait a long time to like, well, at least until my birthday to get a new camera, you know, and like basically it would be like I'm getting a camera just to, you know, film my YouTube videos, which it, it is important to me because I, I do love doing this and I do love the, the, the feedback, how little or how big I get and the encouragement I get. I love being part of this wonderful community but um I just you know I don't want to have to like buy something especially something expensive like a camera but okay so let me let that dry and um I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll be right back okay so it's dry enough um before I do anything like with glue again, I think I'm going to um, take this outside and kind of um, well, like see that dried nicely. I don't know if this is showing up on camera. I, I am looking at the monitor and it's not showing up as well as it looks, but it just, I feel like putting the, the paint on which reactivated that red color, um, but you know, but that's fine. Um, but I feel like putting this paint on kind of brought the the lace, you know, it brought it forward again, um, if that makes any sense to, at all to say. But um, I think before, so what I'm gonna do before, I, like after I end this video, is um, I'm gonna take this outside and spray it with an acrylic fixative. And um, that way if I do anything else, um, it's not going to, um, you know, ruin it and, and, and reactivate all of this pretty color. But, um, I just went to the kitchen and got my favorite gold paint. Well, this is the only paint that I have. Um, and I kind of want to make it a little bit, um, like I want to gild it a little bit. I don't know. This may be a disaster. I hope it's not, but and I forgot to get water, but maybe I'll use this sponge. I'm gonna have to do like, I'm gonna have to do like a little test. I'm gonna use the sponge. I'm gonna make it wet just to, um, so, and I'm using this little tag as my palette. Um, Cause I'm, you know, I'll do something with it later on. And I'm almost out of paint. I'm going to need to buy some new paint. And I definitely will get this same color again. Love it. Love it, love it. Because it's not like a classic, like, let's try like down here. Oh, wow. I love how that looks against the red. So, yeah. So let's, let's kind of gild it a little bit. See how the the color's coming off? <laughs> the 
that's why I really need, I really need to, I probably should have put the, um, the, uh, fixative on first, but I just, I want to get the gold down and I kind of want to get it, I want to kind of get it a little bit, like a little bit, you know, a little bit on the, on the front a little bit. Not too much because, I mean, I want to keep that, that image. I mean, that's why I got it. That's what drew me to, to this pretty little book. So, and I hope this is showing up. Maybe it's not. If it's not, then it's not. <laughs> you know? I mean, that would just give me more reason to buy a new camera <laughs> if I can't work out my edit editor issues. I think I'm, I'll, I'll be able to work it out. My husband's going to take a look for me. He's the one who knows how to do that. He's the uh, engineer <laughs> between the two of us. He's the math science guy <laughs> between the two of us. and. Mr. Computer Expert. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. Oh. Gonna add a little bit to the spine. So, okay. Well, I feel like it's uneven because of that. So, let me just see if I can work with it some more. Sometimes, you know, more is more. <laughs> In this case, I feel like more is more. So I'm going to go with it since it's kind of heavy on the gold right there. I'm going to just kind of make it look, you know, intentional kind of. And then just to even it out, I'll put a little bit more down here and then kind of try to blend it. <laughs> I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. I don't know if you can see that, but so this is making me feel so much better about <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> what I thought was a disaster. So, excuse me, I've got my allergies. I know I sniffle so much in all my videos. You, you, sh you know, <laughs> hopefully you're used to it. Um, so let me just put a little bit more. Let's go down here. Not too much, because like I said, this cover is the star. Okay. Okay, well, there we are. So here's what I came up with um, in my little mistake from yesterday. Or it wasn't really a mistake. It was just, uh, I don't know, just something bad that happened with using Mod Podge. I mean, I'm sure if I used some kind of like, you know, book restoration glue, maybe that would have been you know, the best thing, but I did not. <laughs> so, um, I can't help it. I don't have, you know, I don't have antique book restoration glue. If Is that even something? I don't even know if that's something, if that's a thing. I'm sure there is such a thing as that, but yeah. Okay, well, Looks like I have another little junk journal series, the making of. Um, I wasn't planning to, to uh, film about this. I was just planning to just make it, but here we are. <laughs> so yeah, um, I, it's gonna, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna end this video now and then I'm going to uh, go over this with acrylic fixative. 
um, like I've already said like a thousand times. Um, I think, I don't know what I'm gonna do down here. I'm gonna leave, I was gonna add another piece of fabric tape down here to even it out, but I don't really feel like I need to do that. Um, I kind of like that it looks like somebody had tried to repair it, you know, which was me. I'm not somebody who tried to like repair it. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it like that. I feel like it looks like, you know, it looks like a cute little mistake. It doesn't look like a bad mistake. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. That way, if I, if I put the acrylic fixative on now, um, that way, if I decide to do something else, um, it'll, you know, it'll have that little bit of protection on it. And um, hopefully I won't have an issue like I did last night. And um, I will uh, go ahead and try to figure out what paper I want to put in here. And um, I'll be back to work on this uh, with you. <laughs> if you want so uh, keep watching um, I've got a lot of other videos planned I've got some more um, watercolor video ideas uh, planned um, if you're interested in that I would like to film a flip through another flip through of my silly book I've got an ephemera hunt coming up um, not this week I don't think because like I said I, I'm not gonna go for a month and that was like two weeks ago um, I may break it. I may break my little month um, a week early and go next week. I think there's a really good one um, coming up next week. Um, so I've got another ephemera hunt video planned. I just bought a sticker machine. I, I haven't played around with it just yet, um, but I would love to like make some stickers. I can't wait to make stickers. Um, and so I think that would be a fun uh, video to do. Um, oh, and I got a new, I got a new watercolor journal. I've actually got two of them. So I got this one. Um, the last one I had was uh, the one that I, um, I just filmed the flip through of, if you saw that. Let me get it. <clears throat> Let me get it. This one. And I know I said in that video that I wasn't going to get one um, like this uh, because I wanted one that, uh, open flat which this one does it's awesome see I've already worked in it a little bit I gotta finish that um, but I've already worked in it a little bit and I do like this and I do like that it opens flat and I like that um, you know you can close it this is a what brand is this pentallic um I don't know what the dimensions are but it's supposed to be better for doing you know like landscapes you know in the field and stuff like that so it's eight by eight by five um which is great but i feel like it probably is better for working in the field in but it just feels a little awkward to work in on my desk because of how long it is um i like to have my my palettes on the side and not like on the top i'll try i'll try but it just you know when i want to move it around and stuff I just like, I feel like if I were outside, you know, like holding it and working on it, it wouldn't be so awkward. But, you know, when I'm working on the desk, it just feels, you know, I mean, you know, it is, it's for, I mean, just the size of it, it's for taking with you when you go, you know, paint outside. But right now I'm not doing that. So I bought, I did go ahead and buy, bought a new one because I had some, um, I had some credit card points and so I was able to get this for like four dollars and fifty cents off so this ended up costing about thirteen dollars so it was listed around it was listed around um, seventeen or eighteen dollars on Amazon and um, I used my little point code and I got it you know for thirteen dollars so so yeah and I mean I do like it I, have, I just haven't worked in it yet but anyway uh, yeah so that's what's going on with me right now. Let me know uh, what you think of my little, <laughs> my new little project here and keep coming back because I will definitely be working on this on camera. I, I love this already and I can't wait to uh, get it finished and start working in it. It's so cute, so adorable, love it, love it, love it, love it. So I will see you again in the very next video and until then, like I always say, 
Um, and I say this because I, I really mean it and I hope that um, if you're watching this video or if you watch my channel that that is what you get out of it. Do your art for yourself. Do art that makes you happy. Create things um, that make you happy. Try not to get frustrated about, you know, oh, my stuff doesn't look like this. My stuff doesn't look like so-and-so's. Don't compare your work to somebody else's. Your work is always gonna look like your work. Like, you have your own unique style. And, you know, go with it, embrace it, you know, like nourish, nourish it, nourish, <laughs> nourish it, nourish your style um, and make yourself happy in your art. Try not to get frustrated, you know, celebrate your art, be proud of it. Even the art that you are not, you know, 100% happy with, because like I said, it took you somewhere and it's, it's, it's going to get better. You'll get better as you do it. I mean, we're all just trying to learn and do the best we can here, right? I mean, that's, what I love about the YouTube art community. So, um, so yeah, let me get off my soapbox and end this video. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and uh, make something or do something that makes you happy. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.